Hello, it's me. Welcome to the video. It's kind of a weird angle, but I'm making coffee, so. I have a list of things that I want to do today. Look at this crazy cat. Stop. I finished Down Days, the book. The ending wasn't exactly what I expected, and I don't know if I liked it or not. The idea of the conclusion was kind of like a theory proposed like three fourths of the way into the book. So, you know, it wasn't talked about a lot. It wasn't discussed within the book and the idea of it wasn't really like just there at all. And then all of a sudden the conclusion was like, oh yeah, this is what actually happened. So it wasn't even like a, like a twist because it was like brought up and then proven to be correct at the end. I don't know, it was kind of weird. Overall, it was an okay book. <laughs> I think the idea was really awesome, the characters were really cool, the setting was really cool, but the execution, I feel like there could have been more? I don't know. And then, since the last time I talked to you, I also finished another book. It's called Peace of Mind. Hold on, I'll go grab it real quick. I literally read this in like two sittings. It was really kind of like right up my alley, like it flowed really well. It's about a woman who suffered brain damage from getting hit by a car when she was three and now she's 27 and the effects of that have like followed her her whole life. So she's not completely like 100% like functioning as far as like motor skills and cognitive stuff. Basically the catalyst of the story is that her father dies and he was the one taking care of her. So she has to move in with her younger brother who has to quit college. I really like the characters. It reminded me a lot of Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. That was a fantastic book. I think way more like mainstream and well-known than this one. I have not started a new book yet, but I have like a little stack of to be read stuff. And voila, this is my version of a caramel macchiato without the caramel. But as for what I need to do today, there is a return I need to make at the mall, which is like half an hour away, but the return policy was only 30 days and I don't know, it's been a couple weeks and the stuff just did not work for me. So I need to do that. And I figured while I was up there, I might as well check out Second and Charles, which I don't know, like the span of Second and Charles. It's a bookstore, but they also sell games and posters and like super kind of like nerdy, you know, niche type stuff. And they typically sell like a lot of cool stuff there. Sometimes you can find some really neat Harry Potter merch, which, But I thought while I was up there, I would check out like their used books. I've gotten really good deals on books in the past. As for writing, I'm not sure what I want to work on. Summer is typically a pretty creative time for me. You know, I feel like I start a lot of projects in summer. Certain books just have like a summer vibe. For example, Thick as Blood, Tight as Skin, like that whole like mood is really summery to me versus The Cherub of Rosecrest and like The Scum at the End of the Road were more like winter, autumn type feels. It's kind of weird how I get into different moods like during different seasons. All right, I've blabbered on enough. The mall's gonna open soon and I just wanna get in and get out. So we're gonna head out. See what we can do. Sarah Dessen, I swear. Like my sophomore year of high school, I only read her books. Like.
All right, I spent like two hours in there and came out with one book, but that's just how it is with me. I'm very particular about my books. Ah, uh, I don't know, it just felt like a throwback. So I decided to try Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. Oh my gosh, I used to read her books all the time. I haven't read this one. I mean, it was only $3.25. That's a really cool thing about Second and Charles is that the used books typically have a pretty like big markdown, even like hardcovers. You could get like a $4 hardcover in there. And then even like, I mean, the brand new books, you pretty much pay like the regular retail price, but they're brand new. So there's that. But yeah, so I'm kind of excited. Like it's weird. Oh no. Somebody dog eared a page. I don't like that, but. Out of the four copies of this, this one was like the best in shape, so. Okay, I'm gonna go home and get some lunch and then get some writing done or reading done or something, you know? Like we're just gonna, we're just gonna see what the day holds for us. So, I may or may not have finished the Sarah Dessen book in like four hours. I just really got caught up in the story. I mean, it just brought back like so many like young adult book memories. I haven't really read like YA in a really long time and I feel like getting back into it a little bit. It was really weird. I kind of was getting like deja vu when I was reading it, like especially the beginning. I felt like I might have read the beginning before or at least a story that was really similar. It started out with sort of like a memory of two sisters in a sandbox and one of them accidentally hits the other in the head with a shovel and it creates a like a scar. Has that happened in another book before? Because it seemed really similar, like I had read something like that before. Another book to add to my list. I've just been like reading a lot on my days off, so I've kind of like, I don't know, I've just been in like a really like reedy mood lately. So I guess that's good as far as my summer goals of writing 10 books is concerned, which I talked about in my last video. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, I guess I'm gonna make this sort of like a summer vlog series. I think it not only will help me stay on track this summer and have a productive summer, but also because I haven't been posting a lot, to YouTube. That being said, I think that brings my total books so far to like three or four. So I don't know, I might have to up that goal from 10 if I keep going on like this. Anyways, I think I'm gonna get some writing done. I don't know what I wanna work on. Actually, no, I think I'm gonna post or work on the next part of my Wattpad story. I got like halfway through the next chapter before I had to like do something or whatever the other day. And yeah, as of right now, that story is actually sitting at 133,000 reads and almost 4,000 votes. The instant gratification that comes from posting on Wattpad is so satisfying, at least, you know, to me, because I mean, honestly, I feel like one, it's all luck when it comes to that stuff. Like my story just happened to, you know, get some traction for I think a couple of reasons. The first of all, the cover is trendy. It's kind of looks like a contemporary romance, which it basically is. Pastels, my original artwork, which is really fun to do, illustrative style. Two, the title is super like basic and tells you like this is what you're reading and that appeals to people. Also, when I was writing it as part of my assignment for school, I was posting a new chapter like every three days, like two to three days because I was so into it. I think just that kind of like helped build it up. And now I really just want to see this thing to its end, you know? All right, it's dark out, oh my gosh. 
Been wearing my makeup way too long today. Finished the part. It was longer than I had originally thought it was gonna be, but that's okay. I am gonna do one more quick read through before uploading it. Like there is minimal to no editing when it comes to Wattpad. It feels very much just like a first draft that you upload and just kind of perfect as you go and hope it's for the best. And I think that's also part of the fun of it. It's very like instinctual or like, you know, you just go with like your first gut feeling and you just roll with it. And then once it's out there, it's out there and it's really hard to edit and go back. But like that's part of the fun and like part of the challenge, I think. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know, Wattpad is just so much more complex than I feel like people give it credit for, but that's okay. Actually, I'm gonna see how many words that was. Ow. Right now the whole novel, I'm gonna say, is sitting at 47,500 like, words. There's no way. Hold on, let me try that again. There's no way I wrote that much. Oh my god, it's true. Okay. I wrote 1,700 words, so that's like a NaNoWriMo day. See, this is what I mean. Like, you just get wrapped up in the story, and I don't know. It's just something about this. It's just like, it's fun, and it's like relaxing, and it's like no pressure, and I recommend trying it. Not like the erotic part, but just like the Wattpad thing. It's fun. <laughs> All right, and I think that pretty much wraps up today. I felt like it was a good day off, you know, got some stuff done, read an entire book, finished the next chapter of my story, and yeah. I also want to see if any of you guys had like summer writing goals or if like that's a thing you're into. Like typically I don't like setting writing goals for myself, but I'm kind of like a structure type person. Like I'm really productive if I have like a schedule or a plan, which is why this summer, because I'm not taking any classes and I'm only working, it feels like I need to fill up my time outside of work with other stuff or else I will just work and work and work and be burnt out, which is why I gave myself some goals. So um, let me know, like, are you, do you have any writing goals? Do you plan on like writing a story or editing or even if it's not writing, if it's like reading goals or whatever, like I'm kind of like interested in knowing and if it's something like you do, like all the time or like normally like I know people have like yearly goals or like quarterly goals for the different um you know parts of the year or whatever or like the summer goals so yeah let me know if you do um and with all that being said I'm gonna leave you guys here thank you so much for watching all of the links to my stuff will be down below um hope you have a great rest of your day whenever you're seeing this and yeah I'll see you guys next time